Good morning. Morning. Welcome back to the channel. Lovely day, isn't it? Beautiful day. Summer but, is probably here. But it's not today. You're going to be seeing. No. <laughs> You're going to be seeing. Um, the last month, really, yes, isn't it? Yes, yes. Well, well, I've not been so great, and I've been just pottering, doing bits, and there's a bit of everything, some about her own stuff, all sorts, isn't there? There is. Sorry, so, got a little girl here. Honestly, um, look. Getting right, a bit look, excited. As soon as I put Converse on, that's it. <laughs> Good girl. Hey, hey, hey. She's full of it. <laughs> right. Anyway, with that in mind, I hope you enjoy it. Right, I'm going to try a little experiment. I've been using patio magic on my in my garden for like plastic stuff and all sorts. You basically spray it on, it gets rid of the green within about five days. I've never known it harm any material at all. So I'm going to try and do like a little half meter section on my roof just to see what happens really. Hopefully, they'll clean it all up because it's looking a bit of a mess at the minute. So, I'm going to leave that for a little while now just to see what happens. I'm going to have a look later on today. If you, those of you who have never seen Patio Magic, it's this stuff. I mean, you literally spray it on concrete. I mean like this bit, this bit here was completely green and it just makes it concrete again. All the bottoms of this UPV set shed, that was all, that was all green, it's all gone. I even sprayed these um, planters, this planter was really bad. It really does work well. I'll just show you one other little bit what I've done. You know, this is the colour of my fence. And I've got bits that are really white. But all that white was just solid green. I did that last week, sprayed it all, and it's all come off. Well, I'm doing the fence as well next week or the week after. So, pressure washed all this last week. And I've just got them first few stones so you can see that section there I've got to do that today so yeah I've, um, I've changed my pumps over so I've now got I'm running central heating pumps and although you can't see they're um, actually show you how many watts they're using. My old pumps were like 80, 90 watts each. These are like 40, I think they're 48 maximum. I think that one's 44, and that one's as well. I'll be able to see them better at night, but this thing it don't let you see them, and I've put new, new uh, bulbs in my ultraviolet filters as well. So there's another one down there. So, this should sort my fish pond out, this is all my filter system, still in the middle of cleaning it at the minute, and here's the fish pond, got a good flow on the, on the pipes, the, um, I've got a waterfall there but at the minute it's out of action because I've got a burst pipe at the back um, for that so I'll have to sort that out. This is another little job that Ian's um, been putting off. I hate him doing it because it's quite slippery and you could go flying into the fish pond. But here we are. Is pressure washing the stones, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm a bit wobbly up here. <laughs> I said I don't like you doing this. <laughs> well, you 
three quarters of the way done now. And yeah, you can see how black they go, don't you? Yeah, I've got the front of these flat. You have actually, they're not too bad. The one where your foot is could probably do with a little bit more on the front, but not much. You're nearly there, be careful. Because it is on camera. <laughs> Well, back on the roof again. I've got to be honest, it's not a green like it was, but... It's not any better really. But look at this, look. Now that stuff's on there. I'm not even rubbing hard. So, it's definitely changed it, so what I have to do, to come up in a few days, because I know it's going to rain for a couple of days, and then, um, and then we'll see, we'll see what it's like, yeah, I need to give my roof some love, don't I? Right, it's about uh, four, three, four days, four, maybe five days ago. We was up here last, um, and I put that patio magic on. See what it'd do, and it's um, it's done nothing. If I'm honest, I did spray up to that leg, and if you look at that side. The second side is definitely green, yeah. but that's all it's done, took the green off, which, to be honest, you can do with a damp cloth anyway. Right, so I'm going to try and do it the old fashioned way, as much as I possibly can. Let's say that's uh, quite clean. So, a few hours later, hopefully I'll have it done. Yeah, that was a bit better, doesn't it? Um, yeah, all nice and clean. It's come up all right, actually. That's the first time I've done it like that, just with a brush and a cloth. But it, after doing it last year and polishing it all last year, it didn't really need too much. It's all the cracking. Is that normal? It looks absolutely rubbish, but it's um, it's still it's still stuck hard, which is you know all I'm really worried about on the roof, but. God, if you used to use that anywhere else, I'd be absolutely devastated now. Spending all that money on something and it looking crap. It doesn't matter on the roof because no one sees it apart from me. Um, yeah, bit, bit disappointed if I'm honest. Going back to the adhesive that I used. Um, these ones, no, it's not the, the tidiest of jobs, but these ones are flexifix and they're um, they're in lovely condition a bit mucky still that one but uh, they're in lovely condition and they've actually they've still got plenty of spring in them um, but yeah definitely better than that Sikaflex I'll definitely use that a lot more well, another weekend where we're um, staying at home, just trying to get a few more jobs done really. Um, we did have a um, friend's birthday meal to go to this weekend as well. Luckily, the sun is shining, it's beautiful. So, we did forget to um, video last weekend because we was at home then as well. And um, we actually decided to pressure wash the slabs, so Ian was pressure washing and I was hoovering up the water and I've got to admit they're looking 
mighty clean. The greenaway was uh, the greenaway was good, um, and it took the green off, but they were just so dirty because they hadn't been done for a couple of years. Anyway, this weekend, what is my Ian doing? <laughs> we are spraying the fence. So we're trying to keep it all organised, trying to keep it all clean. All the uh, fence stuff came yesterday, which we're using the red cedar. Um, the fence is a bit of a mess really, so uh, I think it's been done when we first put it up in 2009 and we haven't done it since. Terrible. So yeah, as we're trying to get the garden all up and running and tidy again, the fence is the last thing really that we've got to do. So, in here, we've uh, got the batteries <laughs> charging because the machine that we've got um, is luckily a cordless one because we can't be dealing with cords and things. And luckily we've got three, four, five, we've got six batteries. I'm just having to uh, wipe them before we put them back on charge because there's a bit of a spray is going on them and these are ones that we use um, in the motorhome. So let's go and see where Bouncy is, see how he's doing, oh look, that. we can see here look, and look it's picking it up, it's looking pretty good, and I think he's around the corner. Here's the fish. Oh, have you finished? <laughs> well, I'd like to say I'm getting more on me, but I'm not actually. It's actually working really well. Yeah, you can see the difference in colour, look. I can't do that at this end. I've got to and get the end. I'll come round with the machine. Look, it's just stuff like this we've got to wipe where a bit of overspray but let's um let's take you around anyway go back to the fish they've um, been cleaned as well and all of the fountain the rock have been done slabs have all been done i tell you it's looking lovely it's got a few more bits to sort out i think i've got some paint on here oh yeah here yeah. You'll be fine. Anyway, show them the t-shirt you're wearing here. What's the t-shirt you're wearing? Well, it's that one I'm trying to wear out. What was your words this morning? Hey? What was your words this morning? It's going to be killed today. <laughs> he hopefully. said, hopefully, after today, or tomorrow, whenever he finishes the fence, this one will be gone. Honestly, anybody think he doesn't like it? We're nearly... <laughs> We're nearly four weekends now. I said not going away. No. Honestly. Even in the winter we went away virtually every weekend, didn't we? We did. Anyway, let's just show you. Where's my doll doll? Eight years. So a couple of things to tell you about doll doll. Eh? Hey? Been poorly, She's been poorly isn't she? Yeah, Very yeah. poorly yesterday, weren't she? Yeah. So She's coming back a little self today, isn't she? Yeah. She's not been able to keep any food or anything down or drink, is she? No. But uh, the good thing is, doll, it's going to make your waistline beautiful, isn't it? And what's the other thing you need to tell them about doll doll today? Oh, yeah. It's your birthday, <laughs> isn't it? Three-year-old today. She's a big three. But I can't get up now. Oh, God. Oh, terrible. Oh, God, Oh yeah. So this is what you bought, haven't you? This is. It's not a Ryobi, is it? No. Basically, you buy the guns. You buy the gun. The Ryo the. You buy the guns, and there's like four, four or five different batteries that fit. Them. Right. Okay. So if you buy one for the Ryobi batteries, you get. That colour. Oh, I battery. see. I've got it. And um, you can, because Curtis has bought one and he bought a. Um, 
Milwaukee. Milwaukee one. So his is red. Oh, yeah, OK. They're very good, though, aren't they? wasn't a bad price, was it? Well, they're 65 quid everywhere. Yeah. I went on um, eBay and it took three or four weeks to come. But? I got it for 32. Yeah. So, anyway... Direct from China, isn't it? So. Well, good morning. Day two. How far did we get yesterday? Well, we've got them all the way down there, all the way along here to the corner and then you can see there where we started today. Morning. Morning. I said it's day two. <laughs> I Did tell you, you what, this is a bit of kit, isn't it? You like it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, you can see well, look, here where... Look at me, look. You can see there where he's uh, started today. Let's have a look at you. Yeah. The only bit I've got paint on is where I'm, like, touching things accidentally. But yeah. That's certainly on purpose. So stupid, aren't you? Anyway, we're quite pleased with what you've done so far, no, aren't we? it's horrible when you do it, isn't it? It does look horrible when you do it, but once it's dried, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Ian, what are you up to now? Cleaning my spray gun. It's finished, isn't it? Yeah, it was a... It was a mission that got it done. This is the mess that Ian's got left to clear up. And... We've just got the, that was covering the stones, this is covering the hot tub. Yeah, so I've just got to pick these up here. So it never looks good until it's dry, look. You're thinking, oh, that's not done properly. But this is what he did earlier. But that's not quite dry yet, but it's drying a lot better. And uh, so this is what he's done today. And then this is what he did earlier this morning. So as you can see, it does dry properly. It's just, um, when it's wet, it looks wrong, doesn't it? Yeah, when it's dry, it's fine. Yeah. So yeah, that's everything, isn't it? All yeah, done. Thank God. Well. <laughs> this is, these are now on the grass so the ones that's turned upside down don't work the ones that aren't turned upside down do work but I think we're um, going to buy some more aren't we yeah just a bit, a bit so fish are being fed well I've just heard the uh, motorhome open so I'm going to see what Ian's up to because we haven't been out in it for a little while. Um, so we've got a few things on our job list to do today. Anyway, uh, hang on, look. I think that's what he's doing. We did eventually take the uh, motorhome off the ramps yesterday. They've been up there for some time. Honestly, we're useless at times. Let's see. There's my girl. No longer on the ramps. Ah. I wondered what you was up to. <laughs> You're a little sneaky. You're up on me with that thing, aren't you? <laughs> I saw something on the um, table and I heard the motorhome open. Well, this is well over to well, you thought about it yesterday, I think, didn't you? The day before, you I said. I haven't cleaned my tank and my pipes this year, to be honest. And in all fairness, it's been sitting here for a few weeks, isn't it? And we haven't used the water, yeah. so we are best. So. I'm glad you've come. All right. Oh, right. Well, just hold this for me. Oh, for goodness <laughs> sakes. So what have we got, though? I know you've done a video on this, but in here, you've got that Pura Clean. Yeah. With a black hair, I can see you look. Oh, you need to get that out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's I just a bit of hair. I washed, the, I washed yeah. everything, I've even washed this so. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a pure clean in there, dissolved. 
You've put some water in the tank, haven't you? No, not yet. Oh, you haven't put any water in there? No, I've put this in first. Right, well, let's... Uh, you watch this go all over my hands. Yep, Last time I did this, it was really, really windy. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's nice and warm. Oh, we've got a bit of froth that's coming my way. There's loads of froth. Oh, <laughs> froth galore. <coughs> I can't see your face, can I only see a bowl? You don't need to see more face. <laughs> Still lots of froth. Does it normally make so much froth? Um, I don't ever do this. There's lots of things I don't actually ever do for the motorhome. I'll tell you why I don't know it does, because normally... I'm normally getting I'm wet. Mi normally I mix it, mm. bring it out, pour it in. Oh, okay. But this time I mixed it. Oh, left it. And then it, I washed yeah. everything up. So I left it sort of 10 okay. minutes. Thank you very much. So, what do we do now with that? Now I'm going to film tank up. Okay, what to full? Of water. Of water? Yeah, completely full. Okay. And then you leave that for how long? It says on the, it says on the box 1 to 12 hours. So oh, okay. I'll probably do it tea time. So what time are we now? It is just gone nine. Okay, that's not bad going for you on your day off, is it? Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> should still be in bed now, shouldn't I? <laughs> no. Right, let's get going then, shall we? Turn the water off. Oh, have you? Yeah, so basically I've probably put, I don't know, 15, 20 litres in it. Okay. What I've got to do then is run the pipes. So the pipes have got it real concentrated. Oh, what do you mean run the pipes? Run the pipes till the solution comes through. Oh, you mean turn the taps on? Yeah. Okay. And um, yeah, and, and then fill the tank up and then every inch of the tank will be um, covered okay. and all the pipes will be covered. Okay. So. I think the way I do it is whether it's water or I don't know. So haven't, been, haven't been in the motorhome, have we, for a while? So, it's looking a little bit neglected, <sighs> isn't it? I better shut this cupboard up. Look, we've got the bed in there. It's all washed and ready and raring to be put back together. Shut this cupboard up. We've had those all out because we was... Uh, did you see that, was it? Oh, no. You run it and you run it until the... White water comes out of that. Oh yeah, got it. Arch. Yeah. There. Oh yeah, got it. Cloudy water. Yeah. Yeah. Fill the boiler up. And that's great. See that very easy, didn't you? Yeah. That well, it came out, and then it stopped again. There you go. So, yes. Right. So, that's all the pipes sorted. I'm going to just fill up with water now. Well, Ian, how are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's your favourite saying at the minute, isn't it? <laughs> well, Ian, how are we doing? What are you doing? <laughs> How are you feeling? And all that jazz? Um, I've just done my third flush out from the um, pipe cleaning. Oh, okay. Well, so you've, what does that mean to well, those it's, people? It's the tank, it's the pipes, everything. So I left it in there six hours maybe. Mm -hmm. And then this is my third full tank of water flush through. Right. So you fill it up the full tank up yeah. and then you flush it all out again yeah. and then you fill it up again for those people who aren't sure what we're talking yeah. about. Plus I've, um, plus I've bleached my pipes. All right. Bathroom and kitchen. Right. And what have you learnt? 
enough. When you just did that. Why? You just learnt that you can't flush the toilet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If I've got the cold water tap on in the bathroom, the toilet won't flush. I thought the bloody toilet were broke. <laughs> Panicking, weren't you? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? But I know we've not been eating it for a few weeks, but what have I forgotten to do? Well, when do you ever have the cold <laughs> tap on and the toilet flush in the toilet as well? You never do, do you? No, because you don't waste water. No, you don't if, you're, if you're flushing the toilet, you don't have that tap running, do you? No. That would be Very extremely stupid. stupid. Anyway... So Ian's having a good old tidy up. I've just had a little clean here as all of this is dismantled. Because look at me motorhome, just so you know. Look, honestly, it's a mess again. Anyway. So look. this is this is the life you want, this thing. This one, look. So that's it then, is it? Nothing else to report to people? Just that well, you've... No, um... I'll, ble I'll bleach the pipes and then I'll put a load through and then I'll put my tank safe in. Every time I do it, I fill my waste tank up. Mm -hmm. So it's had a, it's had bleach and water. It's had the chemicals in it. Yeah. Then it's had bleach and water in it, and now it's had the tank safe in oh, it. Okay. And I'm, well, I'll say I'll be emptying that out soon. I know it's best with the tank safe if you go for a little run, and but I put it in virtually every time we use motorhome anyway. You do. One thing I hate is a smelly waste pipe. We don't like smelly pipes, do we? We don't like smelly pipes <laughs> at all. Right, on that note, I've just cleaned that doll. So you're going to stand all over it, are you? What, what else is happening today? I'm getting the 34 out of the garage for the first time this year. <laughs> first time since the beginning of August it's coming out. Well, you're starting very late in the day to do it. Well, no, it can come out, can't it? But, well, I, might, I don't know, I might like bring it out today. I've got it started, it's all working. So. I'm sure you'll get a chance to be off one day this week. Will I? I don't know. No yeah. idea what's in the diary. I'd, lift, I'd love to give it a good <laughs> going over. Anyway, it's started, isn't it? You can potter with it in the garage if you want, but mm, it's I entirely wanna, up to I you. I want to wash and polish it, really. And I need to get just get underneath and make sure my petrol pipes are all right because this ethanol nonsense is messing with pi messing everybody's pipes up. It's ridiculous. Maybe people don't know what this ethanol nonsense is. Would you like to explain? Oh, there um, Your petrol's not petrol anymore. It's a bit of petrol and some more ethanol. And the ethanol in the petrol, I'll tell you what it does eats away at the aluminium components that it goes through so if you've got an aluminium float in your carburetor or something it'll eat it it messes up plastic if you've got plastic bits in your system it'll mess up rubber o-rings it'll mess up it's it's a real bad thing i mean if there was ever a government that was going to make you get rid of your cars let's just Let's just make them that bad they can't even run properly because you have to rebuild them every single year. Anyway, that'll <laughs> get the, that's sort of my little rant over with. And, and the worst thing is, you've got E5, E15, no, E5 and E10, you've got E15. They're thinking about bringing it now. And that means what? More eth ethanol? I think, Does it? The, I think the numbers are the percentages of, an eth of ethanol. Oh, it? really? Okay. Um, so what we're saying that we don't ethanol want the ethanol well <laughs> the motorbike i've had it myself with the motorbike um i had to rebuild my car yeah i had to change all my pipes yeah my fuel pipes which were a year old the tap to turn the fuel on and off i've had to completely change the tap because the ethanol is at it what happens is the ethanol in the petrol sinks to the bottom so it basically it turns to water Water turns to evaporation, and evaporation turns into rust, and it just—it's just destroying everything. Is this on every car, or is it just on classic cars? Mainly classic cars. Mainly They're classic. sort of you know, your modern cars are built to take e fuels. Oh, okay. Got that one out there. There's a sticker on there. You can use e five or e ten. Oh, you? okay. Um, so it's the older cars that they're probably trying yeah, to get off they the road. Need it. They need petrol. They need petrol. I wish they'd just sold petrol just for the classics. Yeah. Be nice. But people are telling me now there is additives you can put in and 
helpers and I mean some people even put pellets in their tank and things I don't know about that but if there's if if you if you, any of you guys know anything just put it down what's what's a good um supplement to put in your fuel to overcome the ethanol thing. Put it in the comments guys yeah. if any of you have got oh, that very answer. Very lovely my 34 started up lovely didn't it? Um, yes it did I did hear it. But that was really fresh fuel when I put it away. Well that was October wasn't it? We seem to think it was October the last time you had that out. We can't quite remember can we? It might we? have been August oh. and it's June now. Oh okay. <laughs> well it's the second half of June. It is, it is. Anyway, we're going to stop waffling because we love to waffle. You're going to carry on cleaning your pipes through. My doll doll has now moved and she's having a little five minutes. She's checking out who's coming up the drive. And this is the most bitty bobby video we've ever done, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's been it going is. on for weeks, isn't it? It has, yeah, so, um, it has. I think we might as well finish this video here, don't you? Yes. I think we will. Yeah, we're going to end this here. So if you can like, subscribe, ring the bell and all that jazz would be wonderful because it's really helping our channel grow. And for now, I'm going to say bye. Adios. And from a little Dulcie <laughs> saying bye. <laughs> Didn't even see your face then, dolls. Can they, can't we? <laughs> Good girl, didn't you? Catch up with you on the next one, guys. <laughs>